Hello, let's move on to discussing about the equation involving certs. Alright, uh, can you see that this is a certs, right? Uh, certs, which you know that it can't be reduced to become an uh, integer, right? But this is all the certs, 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 right? So how to find the value of x here? You must have techniques, okay? Uh, the most recommended technique will be uh, or maybe the only way is you only can do squaring both sides, right? You can square both sides. So using the concept of squaring. So for example, if you have a x minus 2 equals to 4. So this is a simple equation involving sets. So what you're going to do, you want to eliminate the square root. You have to squaring both sides, right? You have to squaring both sides. You square and this one also you square. Right, so because you know that the square root when you square, you will get back the x minus two, which is equals to sixteen. Right, four square sixteen. So x equals to sixteen plus two. You have eighteen. Uh, so this is the solution for this equation. Is it true? You need to check because you are modifying the equation. Right, so you have square root uh, eighteen minus two. So you have 18 minus 2 is square root of 16. You get 4. Yes, exactly. This is your solution for this equation. So it means the concept of squaring both sides is applying for square root. Okay, uh, for, for this type of equation that involving square root. So let's, let's look at uh, this example. So I already tell you that I want to use the concept of Squaring both sides. So you have uh, for this, if you square ring both sides, maybe this two third is on the same side. It may be come up with very complicated. So usually I will ask student to uh, it's okay if you do squaring both sides, start from here. Alright, but usually I will ask student to bring one of the third go to the other side. If this side doesn't have third. So alright. This will be much easier. So now I start to doing squaring both sides. All right, uh, squaring both sides. Uh, this is a technique we apply for equation involving sets. So you do squaring. Uh, you do squaring both sides. Kuasa dua kan? Kedua dua. Bas kiri dan kanan. So you squaring of the square root here, you will get x plus 7, right? This side is okay. But for this side, you can expand it. You can expand it 2 plus square root of x minus 5 with 2 plus square root of x minus 5, alright? Yeah. So then you have to be patient to expand all this. 2 times 2, you will get 4, right? And for this, you will get 2 plus positive, right? Positive, positive. So 2 square root of x minus 5, right? Followed by this, same thing. You will get 2 square root of x minus 5. Positive, positive, positive. And x minus 5, x minus 5. So you apply this concept here. Uh, so you have a, right? So square root of x minus 5 and x minus 8, you have x minus 5. All right. So now it's the time for you to rearrange. Rearrange. So uh, x plus 7 equals to, okay, for this case, these two are, like right, can you see that x minus 5 x minus they are the same so you can add up become 4 square root of x minus 5 and there is a x here you plus with x 4 minus 5 4 minus 5 we have negative 1 right okay we can further simplify by bringing all this unknown and number go to the left hand side so you will have x plus 7 
minus x plus 1, right? So you have 4 square root of x minus 5. Uh, so now you are getting better to, uh, you can see that you already eliminate the x here. x minus x, you have 0, right? x minus x, you have 0. 7 plus 1, you have 8, equals to 4 square root of x minus 5. Uh, now become a single third, just like just now. Alright, 8 divided by 4, you have 2. So I have x minus 5 equals to 2, right? Uh, equals to 2. So now, from 2 thirds become 1 third, right? Uh, so, what is the number can make it become 2, right? So that's the number. Or you can try, uh, you can know that 9 minus 5 is 4, right? 4. So you know x must be 9, right? 9 minus 5 is, uh, uh, you get 4. Square root of 4, you get 2, right? It doesn't matter if you cannot, uh, it's better for you to solve, right? <laughs> Even though you know. So you have to uh, squaring both sides again. Okay, x minus 5, you do squaring both sides. And you square, then you have 2 square. Then you have x minus 5, the square root already square. So 4, so then you see that 4 plus 5, you have 9, right? Uh, 9. So, are you sure that 9 is your solution? Are you sure that 9 is a solution? Maybe you need to do some working, some checking, because you have modified the equation, you know. Once you modify the equation, means that you add something, you square something. So the solution maybe is not true. So how to check the validity? So now you can go to the left hand side, uh, whether this solution, this x satisfied the equation or not. So we can try the left hand side, right? 9 plus 7, the x now is 9, the x now is 9, 9 plus 7 minus with square root of 9 minus 5. You have 9 plus 7, uh, you have 16, right? You have 16. 9 minus 5, 9 minus 5, you have 4, which gives you 4, square root of 16 is 4, minus with square root of 4 is 2. So finally, you got 2. 2 is your right hand side, right? Uh, you will get 2. Means that x satisfied this equation. So therefore, x equals to 9 is your solution for this problem. So uh, this is a simple example where you need to do squaring both sides. Alright? Uh, remember this, the squaring both sides. Alright, let's see the next example for the next video.